Welcome to the Apostolic Nunciatur. Um, good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, as many of you uh, may know, I'm, I come from uh, Poland. My birth country is Poland, but for the last 26 years I have been working for the Vatican diplomacy. I was ordained in Poland in 1989. Then I studied in Rome in the Pontifical uh, Academy and uh, I entered in diplomatic service of the Holy See in 1995, serving six different countries as secretary and counselor of the Apostolic Nunciature. Now, since 2018, uh, I have been in Singapore and my responsibility uh, is also uh, Vietnam. So practically I have uh, two countries that I cover, Singapore and Vietnam. Very happy to be here and very grateful to the, to the Holy Father for appointing me his representative to Singapore. Final report, uh, a Hungarian production is a self-conscious, self-referential work acting as a summative account of its filmmaker's lifelong project. The film has a very precise balance of comedy and tragedy. This movie is as much the filmmakers on the state of our society today, especially modern Hungary, as it is of his sprightly, passionately led character. Many great self-referential films have an element of autocritic. Here, Ivan is almost a deified figure who represents all that is good and worldly, the last bastion against a country sick to its soul. The Unknown Goat, released in 2019, deals with many problems of our modern society. The end of life, palliative care and the grieving process. Italian director Rodolfo Bizzatti addresses a social issue that is still too often dealt with uh, in a nebulous way, almost with silence. In my opinion, it is a challenging and difficult movie to watch, but it is film that is very real and relevant, as it, uh, it talks about ourselves. It deals with the need to look after another person, starting with our own. Mr. Pisatti is clear in his choices, and with equal clarity he specifies, I quote, a society that does not think about death is destined to die. Living in the awareness of death does not mean being subjected to it, but, on the contrary, managing one's time in a better way, investing in the essential aspects of life. There are many of these moments in both movies, especially those dealing directly with the dignity of human person and dignity of work. Then uh, we have some examples that show and deal with the principles of participation, common good, promotion of peace and solidarity, and many others. Thank you for this question, which is a very important topic in the life of the Church. Film is one of the many ways in which, through the power of storytelling, good acting and cinematography, issues faced in real life, ideas and conversations can be brought to life. We all remember the last year message for the World Day of Communication, with the title Come and See. It is about communicating and encountering people where and as they are. 
It is hoped that the viewers will be inspired to think deeper, be more empathetic, appreciate the struggles in life and to celebrate the resilience of the human spirit. Film is a medium that is able to build a bridge between culture, religion and circumstance. It is very useful. The films and panel discussions centered around social themes can be a useful way to evangelize and spread the faith. The film festival will inspire deeper reflection among the audience on the universal humanity. The Kenna Film Festival is now in its fourth edition. I must commend Winfried and her team for carefully curating a slate of international films which deal with topical and relevant social issues for the film festival. I would like to encourage as many people as possible to support Kana Film Festival by attending the screenings which are paired with panel discussions with thought leaders and subject matter experts relevant to the social theme highlighted in the films. It is hoped that after the event you will be inspired to live a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Thank you very much.